Fufu, variants of the name include fufu, fufuo, fufu, is a staple food common in many countries in Africa such as Ghana, Liberia and Nigeria. It is often made in the traditional Ghanaian and Nigerian method by mixing and pounding separate equal portions of cassava and green plantain flour thoroughly with water. It is then adjusted to either increase or decrease the viscosity of the fufu depending on personal preferences. Other flours, such as semolina, maize flour or mashed plantains may take the place of cassava flour. Fufu is often served with ground nut soup, palm nut soup or light soup. The traditional method is to boil starchy food crops like cassava, yams or plantains and cocoyams and then pound them into a dough-like consistency. Fufu is eaten with the fingers, and a small ball of it can be dipped into an accompanying soup or sauce. Foods made in this manner are known by different names in different places. African fufu Portuguese traders introduced the cassava to Africa from Brazil in the 16th century. In Ghana, fufu, also known as fufuo, is white and sticky, if plantain is not mixed with the cassava when pounding. The traditional method of eating fufu is to pinch some of the fufu off in one's right hand fingers and form it into an easily ingested round ball. The ball is then dipped in the soup before being eaten. In Côte d'Ivoire, the word foutu is also used. Ivorian fufu is specifically sweet mashed bananas, whereas the foutu is a stronger, heavier pasta made of various staple foods such as yam, cassava, banana, taro or a mix of any of those. In the French-speaking regions of Cameroon, it is called couscous, not to be confused with the North African dish couscous, a similar staple in the African Great Lakes region is ugali. It is usually made from maize flour, masa, and is also eaten in southern Africa. The name ugali is used to refer to the dish in Kenya and Tanzania. Closely related staples are called nshima in Zambia, nsima in Malawi, sadza in Zimbabwe, pap or vuswa in South Africa, pasho in Uganda, luku, fufu, nshima, moteke, semul, ugali and bugari in the Republic of the Congo and in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and falache in Botswana. Caribbean fufu In Caribbean nations with substantial populations of West African origin, such as Cuba, Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, Haiti and Puerto Rico, plantains, yuca or yams are mashed with other delectable ingredients fufu nigeriano. In Cuba, the dish retains its original African stem name, termed simply as fufu or with added descriptive extensions like fufu de platano or fufu de platano pintan. On other major islands, fufu goes by the names of mangu in the Dominican Republic, mofongo in Puerto Rico and bami in Jamaica. What distinguishes the Caribbean fufu from its West African relative is a firmer texture with stronger flavors. As it moves away from Cuba, the fufu's core is less a gelatinous dough and more of a consistent mass. Puerto Rican mofongo in keeping with the creolized cuisine traditions of the Caribbean tends toward a fufu of much higher density and robust seasoning. While keeping a conspicuous African character, mofongo has borrowed from the island's Iberian culinary tradition, to create a dish comprised almost exclusively of fried green plantains, with neither yucca nor maize. Unlike the mushier Caribbean and West African fufus, mofongo is generally firmer and crustier. To prepare mofongo, green plantains are deep fried once unlike twice fried tostones. Next, they are mashed in a pilon mortar, with chopped garlic, salt, black pepper and olive oil. The resulting mash is then pressed and rounded into a hollowed crusty orb. Meat, traditionally chicharin, is then stuffed into the chunky ball of fried green plantains. A few recipes call for a meat or vegetable salsa criolla. Related to American Creole sauce poured on top of the hot sphere. In the trendier, mofongo relleno. Typical of western Puerto Rico, seafood is all over, inside and outside. Traditional mofongo, as previously cited, comes seasoned and stuffed with meat and bathed in a chicken broth soup. Because of its elaborate process of preparation and its sundry ingredients, poet and blogger Rose N. Ghetto called the mofongo a type of fufu paella, and branded it as the big daddy of fufus. The vegetable or fufu sauce in the Anglo-Caribbean is not fried first. 
Plantain is not used as much, as it is used in so many dishes. Fufu is usually part of, or added to, a soupy sauce or on the side with a soupy dish. In Antigua, fufu is served as part of the national dish but is called fungi fungi and is made using cornmeal and okra. Similarly, in Barbados it serves as part of the national dish and is called susu and uses cornmeal or, less commonly, breadfruit instead, like several other English Caribbean islands. In Haiti it is called tum tum and fufu. It is mostly made of breadfruit but can be made of plantain or yams and is usually served with an okra-based stew or soup. Origin Fufu is believed to originate in what is modern-day Ghana, by the Asante, the Akuapam, the Guans, the Akam, the Bano and the Fanti peoples of the Akan ethnic group of Ghana. Today, it also features in Togolese cuisine Guinean cuisine, Cameroonian cuisine, as well as Nigerian cuisine. Fufu's prevalence in the West African subregion has been noted in literature produced by authors from that area. It is mentioned in Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, for example. Preparation In Ghana, pieces of boiled cassava or other tubers are pounded together in a giant wooden mortar using a wooden pestle. In between blows from the pestle, the mixture is turned by hand and water gradually added till it becomes slurry and sticky. The mixture is then formed into a ball or a rounded slab and served. With the invention of the fufu machine preparation has become much less labor-intensive. Nutrition Nutritionally, 100 grams dry weight fufu contains 2 grams of protein, 0.1 grams of fat and 84 grams of carbohydrate. There are 267 kilocalories of food energy in a 100 gram serving made up with water. It is very low in cholesterol. It is very rich in potassium, and it is commonly prescribed by doctors for people who have low level of potassium in their blood. See also References Footnotes Notes External links Ghana's Cooks Take to Fast Fufu. BBC News, 29 May 2006. Retrieved August 5, 2008. Microwavable Instant Fufu. Dangers of Consuming Under Processed Fufu. All Nigerian Recipes.